If you've ever felt as though your smartphone, Alexa, or Google Home Assistant are eavesdropping on your conversations and subsequently targeting specific ads to you based off of conversations you had, I'm here to tell you today, no, you are not crazy. And yes, our devices are monitoring our every move. So let's talk about it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Ruth and I am so glad you could join me today as we discuss a highly debatable topic about surveillance on social media and why you should care. Well, it's no kept secret that large tech companies like Google and Facebook, just to mention a few, are monitoring our online activity and collecting our data and selling it to advertisers. American author, professor, and social psychologist Shoshana Zuboff is one of the first philosophers to come up with the term surveillance capitalism. In her book, The Age of Surveillance Capitalism, she explains that surveillance capitalism unilaterally claims human experience as a free raw material for translation into behavioral data. And it's quite unfortunate when you really think about it because we gave these companies our data willingly. Let's use Facebook for an example. When you first join Facebook, you are required to create a user profile. This profile covers all your personal information. When I first joined Facebook, I did not hesitate to share my legal government name, my real birthday, my real genuine interests and likes. On top of that, I would share lots of my photos, even my genuine relationship status. The modern internet runs on an implicit market logic. Basically, if the app is free to use, you are the product. Do you guys remember the Pokemon Go app from 2016? Business establishments were paying the Pokemon Go company to lead their participants into their establishments. Businesses were making so much money during this time, it's crazy you guys, because by the end of 2020, Pokemon Go had grossed up to six billion dollars in revenue. Players had no idea that this was happening, that they were literally being herded like sheep through the city into specific targeted business establishments at the expense of their entertainment. This was a large-scale social experiment used to engineer behavior at the expense of the consumer's entertainment to fulfill commercial ends. So, why should you care? Coleman and Freelon define privacy as either the right to be left alone or as the right to determine for oneself which areas of your life should be accessible to others. As much as there is a plethora of drawbacks when it comes to social media surveillance, it is a necessary evil. In Australia, if the police suspect that either you or your friends are engaging in illegal online activity like cyberbullying or identity theft, they have the authority to issue a warrant for your arrest and also go through your social media accounts. Government surveillance on social media is quite necessary in order to promote safety around public use of the internet. Revealing information on social media is a means of communication and is not a problem in itself, but the problem is when power structures like big corporate companies begin spying on their employees or applicants. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share this video if you care, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. With all that said and done, guys, stay safe out there. Bye.